everyone so today is the first day of 2023 so I thought I'd start us off with a round of TBR around the world so this is the TBR game that I have been playing since roughly the beginning of last year and I have loved it so if you missed it I do go through what each of the little icons are before I do my rolls but it's gonna be awesome we're gonna continue doing it last year I did a reward and punishment jar where I donate any money that was a dollar per book that I did not complete um, but there was only a couple dollars in there so I'm trying to figure out a different system I don't know what yet, but we'll figure it out. I think I'm just going to donate a couple dollars to my local library since there was like maybe between five and eight dollars. So I definitely will do something a little bit different. Not sure what yet. If you have ideas for reward and punishments, then feel free to put them down in the comments. I'd love to have your ideas. All right. So I'm excited for a new year. I'm excited for, well, I was going to say new board, but it's the same board since I do love this so much. I didn't want to change it. So, all right. Let's go and have some fun. So, I don't think there's any new rules. There is one, I don't know if I mentioned it in my rules or not, but the globes, um, they were uh, regular prompts on a wheel. But since I already had prompt cards, I changed it to match my readathon this year, which was the globes would mean a genre. So, I think I also had uh, tropes as well, but I just did a genre wheel for myself. Uh, so, yeah, so. If you missed it, there is a year-long readathon happening that is based off my TBR game. I will link the announcement video down below as well as the graphics for you all so you can all join in the fun. You can do either one roll per month or you can do the entire game board if you want per month. It's up to you. Up to you. And my mom actually decided to play and she decided to do the whole board for the month of January. So stay tuned for the end of the video and you get to see her reaction and her books that I helped her pick because she doesn't read a ton but she, she trusts my book choices so it'll be a fun time to see her choices as, as well. So let's go ahead and get on to our first roll. Okay everyone so if you are new to the board this is what it looks like and I will quickly go through what each of the prompts means in case you're new here and you missed last year because um, I did skip December just to give myself a break, but we're in a brand new year and I'm so excited. So I did replace and put back all of my prompts from last year or most of them anyways, ones that I could find. I'll have a better system to keep track of the ones that I use, <laughs> but I did find most of them and put them back in and I will mix them before we get going. So I do use two dice and today I'm using a minion only because I couldn't find any of my other guys and he looks like he's ready for a trip around the world, right? <laughs> So I start off the board, because this counts as one space for me. So clouds are just one prompt card. Double clouds, I have to pick two prompt cards and try to fit one book for both. If I can't, then I have to read two books. Uh, the passports are friend picks. So I have a wheel that I spin. It has dad pick, mom pick, um, just like one of my friends in real life pick. Booktube friend pick or a subscriber pick, I think. Don't quote me, but I think you're all on there too. All right, and then Globe is my wheel of prompts. I don't know if that's going to change or not because we have prompt cards, so that might change, but for now, it's just the wheel spin that I have. And then the suitcases are my TBR star jar, which has random books from at least one of my bookshelves. I haven't added the other one yet. And then the rainbow is a slide down where I have to pick a random color on a color wheel and pick a book that matches that color. So last year I had to pick two books. I'm not going to do that to myself this year. <laughs> so, I mean, not that I had a lot of books anyways, but just a color wheel I think would give me a nice change of pace. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and mix all of our prompt cards and we can start off our new year. Roll number one. And we got a seven. So before I forget, I do go through the entire board. I think I said seven, but I did get an eight. 
I think I said seven by accident. But yes, I go through the entire board, and then the plane is our last prompt cards, which are mainly travel style prompts. So eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we got a, stu a suitcase. So that's TBR Star Jar. I haven't had one of those in a really long time. So great start to the new year. And so our for our first roll, we got TBR Star Jar, and we haven't had that one in a long time. So that's what this jar is. It's a tea jar that I got on a vacation, and it is filled with origami stars. Not too many, because I need to refill this, but this is most of most of my Christian fiction self, so I'll drop one. <laughs> that's not going to be the one we pick, because we do mix. Mix them all in. I keep dropping them. All right, hands free. Not that I know what they are, because it's been a while since I put them in. All right, so we have a light pink star. And these should be easier to open than previous ones, because I did use a better paper than last time. It's still going to be hard, I tell you, these stars. Oh. <laughs> oh. I think they might have to be squished in order to be opened. Wow, really? There we go. Oh, tough. All right, what are, you, what are you getting? What are we getting? Oh, are you serious? This is perfect. All right. I can't get the rest of it out, though. I'm trying to get the whole title out, but I saw what it was, and this is actually perfect. And it's actually kind of funny, too, because it's one of, one of my mom's picks. So, hint, hint. This is going to be one of her books. And I've actually been wanting to read it. So, this is perfect. So, it is A Long Time Coming by Robin W. Pearson. And... She is going to be one of the authors that is going to be at the Fiction Reader Summit in May that Mom and I are going to. So, this is a perfect, perfect first book on my TBR. Perfect. All right. So, I probably will read it before she does. <laughs> All right. So, that was our first pick. Let's go into rule number two. Actually, I don't have the book with me. <clears throat> I think it's downstairs in her pile, but I'll put a graphic up here below, or right here. I don't know exactly what it is. I think it's more women's literary fiction compared to, like, romance. Um, I believe it's dual timeline, so I don't know much about it. But sometimes I kind of like to go into a book without knowing too much about it. So that is our first pick. All right, now for book number two. Rule number two. Oh, that went far. We got a seven. One two, three, four, five, six, seven. We got a friend pick. All right, so no prompts yet. We're getting all of the extra fun stuff. Awesome. And we also skipped the first rainbow. All right, roll number two, we got friend pick, and I rolled the lovely friend and family wheel, and this month we got dad, and we got dad last time we had friend pick, so that's kind of funny. I forgot to put away my star jar. All three bookshelves and the cart are up for your... Really? Yeah. I'm not on a strict Christ, oops, Christian reading that Christian reading diet this you month. Um, none of those, I don't think. Okay. That was quick. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the one you want me to read? <laughs> All right. So, or do you want to pick like a couple choices or just that one? Well, let's see. Okay. <laughs> you can take your time. I don't know what these are. Alright, one of these. Okay, which one? Let me pick these. This is a combines a feminist Cinderella story with a beautiful steampunk quote. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I guess we're picking Emissary by Thomas Locke. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> All right, so he picked Emissary by Thomas Locke, and this is the first book in the Legends of the Realm series. I have not read it, but, I mean, the cover is, like, we know it's a fantasy, that's for sure. But I've not read anything by this author, or have I read anything by his pseudonym? So if you don't know Thomas Locke, you might know his pseudonym. And it's Davis Bunn. So Davis Bunn also writes under the name Thomas Locke. And so I'm excited to try a new series by this author that I've never read. I don't even think I've read a Davis Bunn. I might have, but it's been a long time. So this one says, Hi, am, or he am? 
maybe he am, has always shown a remarkable ability to master languages, even those left unspoken for a thousand years. But now the shadow of suspicion that was cast upon him as a child prodigy at Long Hall is lengthening, and he must keep his identity hidden or face annihilation. Sounds good. Can't wait to start in another new series. <laughs> All right, so on to roll number three. Roll number three. And we got a six. And that is just a regular prompt card. So we got flowers on the cover. You know, I think we just had this like two or three months ago, but that's okay. <laughs> so flowers on the cover. And for roll number three, we got a cloud prompt and our cloud prompt was flowers on the cover. And I left my book downstairs. I even had it in my hand too. I was like, I'm going to start reading this today. And then I forgot to bring it upstairs because I forgot it was a pick that I chose. But I'm going to be cho choosing, choosing, reading, reading The Rose and the Thistle by Laura Franz. This is actually my very first book by this author. And I have heard nothing but amazing things from other people who have read her books. So I'm really excited to read my first book by the author. And this is a new release that's coming out, I believe, the first week of January. So I can't wait to read it and talk about it with you all. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I do know some of what it is. I know her father um, got in trouble with the royal crown. And he's basically um, been been branded a, what's the word, <laughs> um, but a danger to the crown. And so she basically has to leave England and she ends up going to Scotland where she ends up being at like this local castle and there's nothing but guys in the castle and I'm sure there's going to be a romance involved in it, but I'm really excited to try one of her books out and I think this is going to be a great one. All right, so on to the next roll. Roll number four. And we got a 10. Oh, a nice big one. Where which way I'm going? <laughs> okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ooh, just missed the rainbow. And we have globe. So that is another, or not another, that was our first globe, is a prompt on the wheel. Okay, our next roll landed us on a globe, which is our new genre reel. With genre wheel. Wow. Let's say that again. All right, so our new genre, genre, I want to say genre real. It's real. But I love this idea better than just adding extra prompts because I have so many prompt cards as it is. I wanted something different. So I think this is perfect. I read pretty much every single genre out there. There are some out there that are not absolute favorites, like nonfiction, poetry. I don't know if I put poetry on the wheel. Can't remember. Um, but there's a few that I don't read as much of. And lo and behold, this month got nonfiction. But this is actually a perfect month for nonfiction. And I am making it a rule where if I get the wheel again next month for either friend pick or genre, if it ends up landing on the same pick as last month, I'm going to spin again because, you know, we don't want the same thing every single month. But yeah, so it got nonfiction. And I'm really happy with this choice because there's a book that I want to read. Um, it's for a couple different challenges I'm in as well as it's going to be hopefully helpful for me because I want to eat more healthy. I don't want to re rely on, you know, eating junk food. And so this is perfect. And it is called Food Triggers by Amber Leah. And this is just kind of like, um, hopefully it's a book that's kind of going to guide me to having a more god Set and mindset toward food rather than, you know, an emotional reaction to eating food and stuff. So I don't really have an emotional reaction to food as much as I used to growing up, but I do know that I do love my junk food and cheese. And so I did really well a couple years ago, but then I lost, lost it this past year. So I know I need to eat more healthy and hopefully this book will, will help me. It's actually going to be one of my first books I read this year. All right, so on to the next roll. All right, and then roll number five, which might be our last roll. It is. Awesome. We got a six. All right, so one, two, three, four, and we landed on the airplane, which is an airplane prompt because these cards have cute little airplanes on them, so that's how I know the difference. <laughs> and it is country setting. Okay, so anything that takes place in the country, I actually have the perfect book, I think, for this, so I think this is going to work out great. 
All right, so that is our last prompt. Let's go see what book we get to pick. All right, and roll number five was our final roll. Nice, a nice short TBR. My TBRs have been pretty short this entire time since I've started this game. I'm not going to make it harder on myself, but it's been nice. I get some mood reading in or other books that I need to get done. So for this one, we got Country Setting, which is actually perfect once again, because I'll be reading the, the Heart of the Mountains by Pepper Basham, and I am just so excited. Um, I'll tell you why, but my, my end of the month wrap-up is coming up on Tuesday, and let me tell you, the first book, Laurel's Dream, was amazing. It, it, if I didn't do my top favorites of the year already, this one would have made it. So I'm just, it'll probably be in my favorites of next year because it was amazing. So I would, will be reading the sequel, and I can't tell you too much about it because it's a sequel, but the first book was about a man who couldn't get into the army because of his um, leg. And so he ends up coming to America and becoming a school teacher where he meets a lovely girl named Laurel and she kind of introduces him to the wonders and the dangers of the wilderness. So it was really great and I cannot wait to read this, the sequel. All right, so those were my five roles for the for my reader, or my TBR around the world. Now I'm going to do my one role for my readathon. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll get into all the um, other books that I want to read as well as mom's picks. So mom's picks will be at the end, so stay tuned for that as well. All right, on to my one roll for the readathon. All right, so I also am going to be rolling one roll on my year-long readathon that I will link the announcement video. That's where the printables are. I'll also try to link them down below in the description box in this video too. But feel free to join in and it has the rules and everything down in the description box. And I am changing one rule just a little bit because I know some of you are doing the complete uh, map every month and some of you are doing one book a month. So if you're doing the entire board each month, feel free to use two dice. I know I said one dice in the rules, but some of you had like 10 to 15 books. And if you don't read that much, it can be a lot. So if you wanna use two dice, feel free to choose whether you use one or two. So go ahead and do that. It'll make it easier for you, I'm sure. So I honestly didn't think that one dice is gonna be that much trouble, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna be using one because I'm only gonna be doing one roll per per month, so I'm hoping to make it through the entire board at the end of the year. So when I'm doing this, I'm actually gonna be using stickers to mark my placement. You can roll like from the beginning if you want to, but um, I don't think I put it in the rules, but put a sticker or a dot with your pencil or something to mark where you first landed. So that way you can keep track throughout the months if you're only doing it one roll each month, which I'm doing. I have these cute little travel stickers. These are perfect. So. I am going to be using one of these to mark where my first roll will be, if I can get off the paper. Come on, paper. There we go, okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna use my same marker. Ugh, can't reach it, there we go. And so I'm gonna start on here because I'm only using one die, so I could get a double in the first turn. All right, so I did already mix my little prompt cards. So let's go ahead and roll and see which what is our first? I know a lot of you already play. This is my first time playing the board. Well, I did like a practice round, but I didn't pick any books or anything. I just wanted to see how many rolls it would take me. All right, three. One, two, three. And I have to remind myself, Passport is a friend or family pick. So since this is my readathon and you all are doing it with me, I'm going to put a poll on YouTube and you all will help me choose the book that I'm going to read for January. So, um, it probably won't be in this video that I tell you what book got picked, but I'll let you know by the end of the month. So awesome. That is a great, great first roll, I think, because all of you are my awesome friends and that's going to be awesome. All right. So stay tuned for that poll. Make sure you vote for which book you'd like me to read this month. And I can't wait to find out what you all pick. So that's my first roll. Oh, I forgot to put a sticker. So I'm going to go ahead and do, let's see, maybe I'm going to do on the go because it's a passport. And it's my first roll, so I'm on the go. So I'm going to put a sticker. Maybe I might. I was wondering if I won't be able to see where it is, but that's okay. We'll put a sticker there. And that was our first roll. Okay, so for my first roll of, of Read Around the World-a-thon, 
that's going to take a few months of practice to remember TBR around the world and read around the world a thon. Anyways, first roll of read around the world a thon. I think this is a perfect choice since this is a read a thon that I'm hosting and all of you can join in. It is a family or friend pick, right? Yeah. So I want to do a poll on YouTube and I will um, put the poll, I, I will put it up today as well. So if you're watching this, go check out on my channel, vote in the poll for which book you'd like me to read. I think I'll probably put two. Um, I think I was going to put four, but I'm like, no, I'll just put two choices. So pick which one you want me to read, and that's the one that I will pick. Um, I'll either update you later on in the month or at the end of the month which book you chose, and hopefully it was a good one. <laughs> All right, so the last two books that I am reading for the month that I have to get to, there's other ones as well, but um, oh, my friend Oshina is doing a Christian romance readathon throughout the year, and I'm actually going to stick with stick to it and do one book every month. I'm going to try really hard to do that because uh, if you don't know me, I like to do my challenges really fast um, or at least get to as many as I can early on in the year so I have more time for mood reading later on. Um, so I'm doing Chantel's reading challenge as well, but I'm going to try to finish as many as I can like in a couple months. But for Oshina's, her first prompt was um, a bright... That's the book I'm going to read. <laughs> It's to read a past favorite. So for that one, I'm going to be reading A Bride Most, Begr Most Begrudging by Dean Gist. And Dean Gist has always been one of my favorite historical romance authors. I love her so much. And she hasn't written a book in a, in a very long time. And so I want to reread it, a favorite of hers. And so I think honestly, this one was one of my favorites, but it's been forever that I could reread any of them and they would probably still be a favorite. So that's the book that I'm going to pick and I will link her uh, reading challenge down below as well. And then the next book that I really have to get to this month is our Christian Book Club pick, which you are more than welcome to join in. And most of us either talk about it at the end of the month in our wrap ups. Um, we are thinking maybe doing a different where one of us might do a live every month and we'll switch between channels, which I think might be fun to do a, like a live reading discussion. So we're still talking about it. We're still talking. All right, but for our pick for January, it is um, Set the Stars Alight by Amanda Dykes. And we decided to do a genre wheel, which was really fun. And so the wheel landed on dual timeline. So this is a dual timeline novel. I don't know anything about it, but I'm really excited to get to it. So, all right, those are all the books that I want to get to. Um, this is the only book that I have physically. The rest are all going to be on ebook or audiobook. So, that's okay. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and have mom choose her roles because she really wanted me to film her. It was her idea. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and see what she picks. Am I Yes, you're on. Okay. Yeah, okay, so mom wanted to be filmed. This is her idea. <laughs> <laughs> but she wanted to share her role because she'll be rolling too. I will most likely be helping her pick books probably. I don't know. <laughs> probably. <laughs> so, okay, mom, go ahead and roll your first role. I don't role. have a big book repertoire. Yeah. <laughs> Mine are mostly Jan Karen. Or or I give them to uh, her to read. Yeah, or you can <laughs> I got a two. Two. I start here. Yes. Is one. one? That's one, yeah. Okay. One, two, it's a cloud. Yeah. So, it's cloud. cloud. Yeah. <laughs> it has a cloud on okay, the actual thing. Okay, it says plane on the cover. Okay, so you have to read a book with a plane on the cover. Like an airplane? Like an airplane. Or a plane cover that's really boring. No, no, that's A-I. That's oh, A-N. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so that is your... That's so, one. I'll have to find... No, that's it. Oh, you want to do a whole month? I thought I was supposed to do a whole month. Oh, no, you can do either one roll per month, yeah. or you can do the whole board if you want oh. to. Hmm. Huh. If you want to do the whole board, you can use two dice. So do you want to start over? Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> you can put that in. You can keep that in. Where's the other dice? Okay. So if you want to re-roll, you can. I will allow um, it because you were okay. confused. I was confused. I'm okay. always confused. So. <laughs> All right. I'll put that in. Okay. I'm you can start confused. over. Okay. That's okay. So she's playing the whole month, actually, so she might get a ton of books. <laughs> I know. And I'm also scared. <laughs> it's a smaller board than mine. I'm so. scared now. See? Okay, now I got uh -oh. two. One, two, on the go, passport. It's friend or family pick, so that's easy if you want me to pick oh, a book for you. you can pick a book. <laughs> <laughs> Next row. All right, row number two. Five. Five. 
One, two, three, four. Rainbow. Uh oh. What do? Oh no! It's down. Oh, that looks so happy thing. <laughs> what do I do? You have to go back down to start. But, but the arrow goes that way. No. Yeah, but that's that's just showing you the path. You have to go down one row. Why is it going that way? That's just down pointing you. No, that's just pointing you. Like you go this direction, that direction, yeah. this direction. Oh. Rainbow. Yeah. Shows I'm goes sliding. down oh, to the other. Oh, he's not very happy right now. Oop. All right, coconut <laughs> thing. <laughs> Okay, we'll do that later, but she has to pick a color or a random color generator and pick a book that matches that color. So Oh, okay, that sounds like yeah. fun. With your back to start, so you might get a lot of books. Oh, right, three. Uh, three. One. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, goody, up to No, the... no, no. Go back. No, oh. That's just pointing which way you go. It helps because otherwise you might get confused and might go backwards. So those are just I told you I am confused. Okay. Okay. Well for those of you who <laughs> <laughs> We're confused with the arrows. Yes, that's just pointing you to which direction you are heading. So that way you don't get confused with the rows. It's not jumping up It's ahead. not a slide. Okay. Well, it's not a jump. Or <laughs> it's not a jump a or a slide. Or... Yeah, okay. okay. All right, so All right, yeah, clown. clown. Yes, okay, it's a clown prompt. Okay, what's your prompt? I'm so glad you're here because I would have done it wrong. And... <laughs> it's okay. Um, okay so. Probably would have corrected you anyways. Character with a travel career. All right. That so that's fun. anything. So it could be a flight attendant. It can be... Tarzan. <laughs> Tarzan. Well, he travels to the trees. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to read Tarzan and be really creative with that? I guess you or could. A cruise. Yeah, somebody's a cruise, yeah, a cruise travel person. agent, okay. a travel guide, <laughs> okay. or a doctor or a nurse, somebody who travels. Oh, yeah, they could travel to help heal people. Okay. Missionary. Rule number oh, yeah, four. Yeah, there's a lot of different ones. Oh, come on. I can make it three. like three. Okay, there's a suitcase. So this one might be difficult for you because, <gasps> well, well, because well, you don't read a lot. <laughs> I don't read a lot. Well, it's write down five books you're excited about and five mm -hmm. books you're not so excited about. Oh. And then you get a random book from those. From those. Yeah. Okay. I'll let I you just, know. I'll let you pick just <laughs> ten books off my bookshelf and that's the one you pick. All or, right. Out of the ten. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good. Okay. okay. You'll never be done at the rate you're going. I, I, okay. I asked when I was done. She's when I get to the, well, yeah, yeah. I asked if I to the airplane. She wanted to do the whole month. You heard her. I did. I did. All right. Well, number five. Encourage me. Then. Three. <laughs> do I go yeah. one, one, two, two three. three? Yeah. Two okay. clouds. Yes, two clouds. Don't worry. Oh. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> you pick two cards. This is and, the top one. Yeah. A book with a five plus word okay. title and a book. With an unused title. Unusual <laughs> title. Not an unused title. Most <laughs> books are unused, hopefully. Unusual. Okay, so you you have to find a book that fits both of those both prompts. Of these. Yeah. Golly, okay. Okay. All right, rule number six. Eight. Eight. All right, yay. You're getting higher numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Passport. Passport. That's another friend pick. So you can have Dan right. pick you one mm -hmm. or... Me again. Do I have a friend out there? Do I have a friend out there? <laughs> <laughs> okay, we gotta write that down so we don't forget. Okay. okay. So that was a friend pick, and if there's a friend out there that wants to pick me a book, pick one with ten pages or less. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> if, it's a, if it's a picture book. <laughs> yeah. Picture. Yes. I did not specify age. <laughs> By age. What happens with seven? Just Where go. Just go to the end. Okay. One, one, two, three, three four, five. Like <laughs> Oop. He passed okay. out. He traveled too far. And that is okay. a reader's choice. So you read whatever book you want. Oh, yay. So that's her. And yeah, that's we'll, we'll, we'll quickly show you the books after we, after I help her pick books. Pick okay. What? How many do I what? have? You've got Alternate? seven. Oh, that's not bad. That's like that's a book and a half a week. Maybe. That's it. Is that right? Four um, weeks. Yeah. A book. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, and book and a half. half is five. You're a fast a reader, though, if you like oh, them. Oh, well, this one's what I gotta get going. <laughs> you're, you're a fast reader, though, if you like them. So. If I like them, I am a fast yeah. reader. Okay. okay. Thank you. She's trying to find white books on my bookshelf. The first white book, I picked this one. That's kind of white, yeah. And I asked her if it was white because they had white underwear on the cover. And then I said, are white slips or whatever they are. Could be underwear. So she got, was like, oh, I didn't put on tape, so. Well, if you pick that one, Maybe actually, slips. that would be a good choice because that author is going to be at the Fiction Reader Summit. So. All right. I still haven't read that, that one either. But... Do you think? Uh, yeah, I would count that. Okay, so that's my white it's one. Yay. Majority of white. Okay. okay. Next one is she's gonna pick five books, and I'm gonna pick five books, random. and then she's gonna get a random. Okay, I don't think random I'm generator. Christmas ones because I've got two or three ones. Yeah, I've got three. <laughs> okay. Oh, pardon me. Jiminy. Jiminy. Sounds good. I'll try to pick quickly. Oh, that's better. I was like, why is the light? Yeah, no, it's like, hurry up, lady. Hurry up, lady. 
I also have my signed bookshelf in the other room. But <clears throat> okay, Pretty Little Pieces sounds good. That's one. Okay. I read that one this past month. And I saw Once Upon a Prince first when I first came down here, so I think that's two. Okay, now I'm picking pretty quickly. <laughs> Anybody see one? Point it out. Say, the blue one, the blue one. <laughs> the blue one. I wish it was live, you know, or whatever. Um, hmm. Are these in any certain order? Yeah, they're yes. book one, okay, two, so and three. I'll pick this one. That's three. Oh, yeah, you do like your series books. I do like series. <laughs> Um, and I do like Julie Claussen, but I haven't read that series yet. Okay. Four I don't know what book that is, though. I don't know. Oh, is it another series? Yeah, because I got it from it a giveaway, and I don't know what book it is. Does it say inside? <laughs> it might. It might be okay. book. I don't well, know. I like Tracy Peterson. Yeah, I know you like Tracy Lady Peterson. Lady of the Lake is Destined for You and Forever My Own. That's that book, too. Okay, so Destined for You. I don't have years. book one. That would be <laughs> Unless I got it from the library. <laughs> okay. Under the Tulip Tree. Is that a That's good a good one? one. Okay, there's that one. One, two, three, four, and five one. For my, my five out of ten. Um, okay, Sea Glass Castle. Is that another one? That's a series? I think the first one is on the left. I think oh, I have them in order. I did it again. Okay. Well, Beach Haven sounds good. Okay, I got my five. Now okay. it's your turn. I'll pick five. I'm taller than you. Well, I know you're taller than me. Yeah. Oh, gee, I'm taller than you. I'll just go like that. All right, so this one I know that is one that I want you to read. I almost picked one of those. Um, let's see. I think I'll do Slender Reads. I almost picked that one too. Yeah, Man, no, this is noticed, scary. No, I noticed I you looking at this almost one. Almost looked at one. <laughs> and then let's see. I'll do. You're so. I'll do uh, Sisters of Seaview, which was one of my favorites. I'll do that one. It's another Julie Clawson, but it's good. And then, let's see, where's, I can't find the other one. Maybe I'll do a romantic suspense, because I know you like those. So suspense on no, I'll need a blanket. It's not scary. Okay. <laughs> it's not scary. She knows who it's for suspense and, and mystery and murder. That one, so I want to give you that one. And then... You never know, I might forget. <laughs> Danny Bill Wright is scary, but... <laughs> I'll do this one, because I really like this one, State of Life, so... Okay, is that five? Yeah. Five. Okay, now what do I do? Okay, so... Let's look from here. Okay. Where's your five? Right here. Behind me. What do I... Oop! What do I do? Close my eyes and... No, we're going to number generator. Oh, okay. I'll mix them up, so like... Okay, mix them up, mix them up, mix them up. So I close... I'm closing my eyes. I really Close am closing eyes. my eyes. See, you have to open your eyes in order to film. <laughs> she wouldn't tell me the number. That's right. I won't tell you the number because I wanted it on camera. Oh, okay. Okay. So your random number generator picked number, which is great because it's one of my favorite books on there. No. No. <laughs> She's going to guess. <laughs> But you're close. Okay. Oh, tell me. This one. Number nine, yes. Oh, number nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> number nine. Oh, Sisters, Sisters of the Sea View. Sisters of Sea View by Julie Clausen. And I don't know when the next book's coming out, but it was really, really good. Oh, so you're going to like okay. it. I know you're going to like it. <laughs> Thank you. I'm going to pick Mom a middle grade book because she's already got a few big ones on there. <laughs> so I'm going to pick one of my favorites, again, because I really love it. And I don't know if she's ever read it. Okay, so you have? Eons. Oh, you want to reread? I'll reread. Okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> That's your pick. That's like a thing. And it's a small a book, girl, so. I think I read it. It was a long, long time ago. Okay. okay. Yay. Yay. Maybe I'll pick a fun kid's book. Okay. So you have Reader's Choice, which is your last pick. <clears throat> Yay. <laughs> Oops. Sorry. Very, Bright very light. Far. What does it say? Oh, just beyond very, very far. Is that like a serious thing again? Yeah. Is it good? I don't know. I haven't read it. Oh, you haven't I haven't read, read a lot of. I haven't read a lot of my middle grade books. I've, I've read everything. quite a few on the bottom, or well, some. I'm oh, sorry about the lighting, guys. Huh? <laughs> I said sorry about the lighting, guys. It's really bright over there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Candy makers. Those are huge. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. What's this? Swank. Yeah, I know. I just love that title. Okay. I'm going to get to like the word okay. swank. Okay. 
So let's go back down and we'll show them the books really quick. Sounds like when you hit my head with the <laughs> roll Christmas of Christmas roll, wrapping. Empty roll, like it was thwunk. So the Christmas Buzz by Maybe. Melody Carlson. <laughs> that was well my choice for friend for family pick for her. So that's hers. Looks good. Yep. One of the ones that you unwrapped and you knew what it was. Yeah. Well, probably yeah. <laughs> that from my Melody Christmas Carlson. thing. All right, and then the next one. Okay. Was it the white? Cover? And that one. Yes, that's white and on the, the cover. Cover. You're not going to say the title on the author. I don't know what it's called. Oh, a long time coming. It wasn't saying this. Bad. By Robin W. Pearson. <laughs> I was looking on the back for the title, but I didn't say that. All right, and then for Travel Career. Yay. A Catching Christmas. <laughs> By Terry Blackstock. And that's a taxi driver, so I figured that would go well with a travel career. Had to be returned in seven days. Don't worry, you're okay. Just hurry up and read the Christmas books first. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. It matter. Yeah, hurry up and read the Christmas one. I read those. one right now. <laughs> we'll put mine aside so that way I know. Right. Oh, I know yours, what, yours. Yeah, what are mine and what. Yeah, so yeah. read the library ones first. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, library. And then next one was a random number generator. And you saw that one. She got the Sisters of Seaview by Julie yeah, look, Clawson. Look how big this one is. You'll, you'll, you'll fly through it. Trust me. Trust me. You'll fly through it. I know. If she likes it, she's going to finish it within like 48 hours. Like, trust me. Give me a time limit. Yeah, give me a time limit. No, trust me. You'll like it and you're going to fly through it. No, don't time me anyway. She probably will. All right. And then the double cloud, she had to do two prompts, which were five plus word title and an unusual title, not an unused title. <laughs> and I chose this one for her because I know she's going to oh, like it. So, The Extraordinary Deaths of Mrs. Kip. Oh, yeah. You talk about this a lot. I do talk about it a lot. A lot of people it's one of my favorites. Street. Yes. Okay. So, okay, you're wait. reading that one. All right. And the next one was another family pick. Dad wasn't around, so I chose another book for her, which was Pippi Longstocking hey. by Astrid Lindgren. I always wonder how they did the hair like that. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Those are her feet on the cover. But. <laughs> All right. And then Reader's <laughs> Choice. And she picked that one. Oh, Thwonk. Thwonk by yeah. Joan Bauer. Thwonk. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so that's her TBR. Show them all. You know, well, you don't have to. But... Wait, I can sort of. Wait, no, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I was going to say just hold them up in a pile, like show the spines, but that's okay. One. Oh. You need that one? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm going to seven. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Yeah, there you go. Six, seven. There you go. All right, those are hers. Yay! <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining in and let me know if you are doing my readathon. I would love to know what book, what book or books you got for January. It'll be a lot of fun to see what you get, and and or any book that you're excited to read in January. All right, so I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I will see you all in the next video.